When it comes to making the coveted blue-eyed leucistic ball python, there are a few things you can do to actually accomplish it. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then I'm gonna show you my plans for this year's breedings so that I can make more of these blue-eyed beauties, the bell python. All right, I have to preface this video by saying I am not a geneticist. I don't have the qualifications to teach in university on the subject of genetics, but I did make my own blue-eyed leucistic ball python last year, and I think I'm qualified to at least tell you how to do it for yourself. So here, I've got two pretend strands of DNA. They're actually pipe cleaners, but we'll, for our purposes, we'll call them uh, DNA strands. Now, when it comes to blue-eyed leucistic snakes, you have to combine two snakes that are allelic to each other. Now, what does allelic mean? Well, let's combine these two pieces of DNA and I'll show you. Okay, we've combined our two pieces of DNA and it's now a double helix. Well, the best that I could come up with. Now, as you can see, I've segmented the DNA into different sections. And for our purposes, let's call these different sections alleles. Now, these two sections would be on the same allele or same segment or location or locus on a chromosome. It's when you have two genes on the same allele that are in this blue-eyed leucistic complex that you can actually create the blue-eyed leucistic snake. Now, not all genes that are allelic together on the blue-eyed leucistic complex produce white snakes, but for the most part, they do. And even beyond that, even if they don't, they create some amazing combinations. So let me show you the combinations that I'm going to, to work with this year. Okay, so I've got my boy Grease Lightning here. Now he is a pure blue-eyed leucistic. That means that two of his genes are on the same allele of the blue-eyed leucistic complex. Those two genes that he has are the bamboo and the Mojave. And as you can see, the combination makes a stunning white snake. He's got just a tinge of yellow in him, not really, but he's got these like marble gray blue eyes. But for the most part, he is solid white. And I'm, I'm going to be pairing him up with several females this year and be creating some great combos. Let's get some females out. Okay guys, I've got one of my beauties out. This is a pastel mystic combo. Mystic by itself looks great, but when you add pastel, it really pops those alien heads and brightens them up quite a bit. She's got these amazing green eyes. She looks awesome. Now, not all of their babies are going to be white babies but 50% of them will. And the reason why is because she is not a pure blue-eyed leucistic snake, meaning she's only got one of the blue-eyed leucistic genes uh, on, on her allele. The other allele is missing the pairing. So this is the mystic gene. When you, when you combine mystic and bamboo together, bam you get a great looking blue-eyed leucistic snake. But something amazing happens when you combine the, um, the mystic gene with the Mojave gene, and you get an almost purple snake that's called the mystic potion. Mystic and Mojave are allylic to each other, and produce the mystic potion. It's not a blue-eyed leucistic snake, 
but both genes are still in the blue-eyed leucistic complex. They're both allylic to each other and they make some impressive looking snakes. Let's keep moving on. <laughs> All right, this is my big lesser girl. I don't want to move around too much because she ate a huge meal the other day, but she produced a blue-eyed leucistic baby for me last year and I'm pretty sure she's gonna lay again this year. You can, you can make bamboo lessers, white snakes, and you can also make the widest of the blue-eyed leucistics and that is going to be a lesser Mojave. Now, she is just impressive by herself, but those blue-eyed leucistic babies, when they come out, man, there's just something about them. Let's keep going on. Okay, I've got a different snake in my hands. This is one of my breeder males. This is what's called a crystal. Now, he's got two genes in him. They're both allelic to each other. He's got the Mojave, but he also has something different called the special and he is going to make some great looking babies. I'll show you what his babies look like that aren't blue-eyed leucistic snakes. All right, so here's one of his babies. This is a special ball python. He's a male. He's actually quite impressive. They're more yellow than a normal and they've got a lot of white blushing coming up the sides of the alien heads. So this is a special, and specials are allelic with everything else in the blue-eyed leucistic complex. All right, this is a Mojave little girl. Special and Mojave are great genes, both in the blue-eyed leucistic complex. And the special Mojave are what make up the crystal. So let's get back to him. All right, remember, this is a crystal. This is a special Mojave. He is amazing. He's just coming out of shed, so he doesn't really like to be handled that much. But he is going to be one of my breeder males again this year. He bred for me last year, did great. And I'll show you the female that he's going to be paired up with against. All right. I'm going to be pairing him up with this big Mojave female. Now, this girl is coming in at about 2,000 grams. She's well over the size of breeding. She's gonna be ready to go. She didn't breed for me last year, but this year she's going to go. She, with the crystal, they can produce crystals, so a special Mojave, but they can also produce super Mojaves, which are blue-eyed leucistic snakes, but they have a little bit of a grayed out head. Impressive. Nonetheless, the Mojave, one of my favorite genes, and the gene that I actually have the most of other than just regular normal ball pythons. And she's a sweetheart. So back in the day, these blue-eyed leucistic snakes were worth so much money. I mean, we're talking 10, 20, 50, 100 grand for these snakes. And for years, ball, py ball python breeders before they actually discovered it, that was the, go the holy grail of uh, ball py python breeding, was trying to figure out how to make a blue-eyed leucistic snake. Thanks to their great work with breeding, we now understand and know how to breed these cells, these guys for ourselves. And I tell you what, if the only snake that you have is a blue-eyed leucistic snake, it's certainly a snake that you can be proud of. Thanks for joining me today. This has been Stephen from Clutch Pythons. Hopefully you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.